Hi, KeyShot 7 from Luxion is officially out. Join me as we discover the new features that have been added to this new installment. So let's pop into ZBrush and see what and what we can get out of KeyShot when we're using ZBrush and KeyShot. We already know that in previous years, KeyShot and ZBrush, they've been working hand in hand and it's been really, really cool. So I have this uh, kind of fun thing here and this is a default fun thing that comes with zbrush 4r8 it is actually a live boolean thingy so if i click on live boolean we can see the final copy of this and it has a, a custom math cap which i i did for it just to help uh give an explanation of what i'm gonna say next so we have this math cap baked into this and we can see the light information is here and i can go ahead and and show what that looks like so if i come down to light and we can see what that looks like here if i come down to my light cap we can see the light information which i baked right into this okay the same thing happened for the environment i created the environment using what i baked here this is a specular and this is the diffuse so let's send this to key short so i'm going to select this and I'm going to hit BPR and at the same time we can go ahead into our environment and start popping in a different environment to see how it influences this and one thing you would notice is coming directly from ZBrush it is not influencing this in any way the reason why is because we have a, a light information that is running on this alone so let me quickly uh, get one other uh, let me quickly get one other environment. Let's see, an outdoor environment would be nice. Okay, something like this. We'll notice that it still doesn't read the light coming from this. The, the thing is, when you have a matte cap from ZBrush, it just bakes the light directly into the surface and you cannot see anything from there. So what we have to do is we need to come over to materials and pick a material to replace this. We can actually go ahead and pick a metal material. I think I'm going to make use of a chrome, which uh, is nice for this. So one of the things you would notice is it has shadows here. So let's go into the environment tab and see what we have, the new improvements we have. And just like the material, you'll notice you can add a lot of environments here and you can play with them and see and change whatever you want uh, about them. So I can play with the brightness of this one I can switch in between these two just to see which of them works for me at the same time I can come over to this environment and pick this and drop it here and see which one works best for me I can drop another one here and see which one works best for me and just like the material work the, I mean just like the material once you are comfortable with one you can lock it up and you can just lock this up so you don't edit it anymore here at the same time if you're not comfortable with it you can turn it open like you know you can unlock it and and work with it other things that have been added to the environment is quite um impressive like now if you're using the pro version like this you'll be able to go into the hdri editor and say you want to add a new pin to this and you can go ahead and edit this I mean you can go ahead and edit this particular HDRI and you can come out here and turn this on I mean you can come out here add a pin and change the color of that pin you can turn up the radius of that just to get something quite interesting going on you can make the brightness up you can turn the brightness up you can make it a half circle you can make it a full circle you can turn it to rectangular and get very uh, nice things and at the same time you can add a couple of other things here as well and when you want to edit this you can always hit this and jump right into this window here and you can go ahead and edit your HDR right here this is really really nice because if you're using the previous one you find out that it opens a bigger window than this or, or it chops your space in in half and that used to be very very annoying most times okay so let's take off what we don't want we don't need this 
let me turn let me unlock that we don't need this we don't need this and we don't need this and moving to the settings you would notice once you scroll down that one extra setting has been added to the ground setting here and it's called occlusion ground shadow so when you turn that up you're going to notice that there is a change in the shadows casting on the floor if i turn it if i turn it off you see it and if i turn it on you see it. if i turn it off you see it and if i turn it on you see it we we'll still have the other things going on here but i think it's it's better we have this and if you are really into trying to uh, match your object to the background and not just use it for light on the loan you can also get that working out for you i mean if you come down to the camera and click on ground grid you can see the position of this and you can decide to rotate you can decide to rotate your uh your hdri to fit into what you're looking for and at the same time you can play with the height just to get what you want get something like nice like this and when you when you're done with it you can just go back to camera and turn off this and now you have now you have it so this is pretty much it